Hey students, how are you doing? Um, this is Axial Skeleton Week, and we're going to learn about the bones of the vertebrae and the skull. And um, you'll also learn a lot of other anatomy associated with all these bones. Um, for example, the little holes, there's lots of them that you'll see. And um, a lot of these are for blood vessels and nerves and things to pass through. But uh, lots and lots of lots to do here. As a healthcare provider, um, you may have to help people with traumatic injuries. Um, vertebrae and skulls can be crushed in car accidents, uh, leading to a wide range of different kinds of injuries involving the brain and spinal cord. So, um, now, what do you do for this chapter? Well, a good strategy to study for this chapter um, would be start with the PowerPoints, go through those, and um, the skeleton notes I gave you, right, on week six, Next, find the videos I made for you. They include an overview of the anatomy of the bone, and then it includes practice. Um, with the practice, you can go along and you can, you can pause. I'll ask you a question and you can pause and wait, try to come up with the answer and let the pause go off and voila, I give you the answer. And just go over them again and again and again. It's gonna take some time. Um, we have a discussion you're gonna be doing that has to do with you know, a loved one or you breaking a bone and uh, the axial skeleton and, and what you might do if someone broke a vertebra, how you would feel about it and that kind of thing. Well, that's a discussion. Um, no review sheets this week because you are way too busy to do that. You have to focus on um, these videos I gave you and all these different anatomical parts. It's going to take some time. Do not wait to the end to do this. You will not be able to uh, get all that stuff in your head. But anyway, um, and there's a quiz Friday on it. So not too many days to really get to it. Okay. Anyway, talk to you next time. Bye.